What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Rebirth Nuke tutorial. We just dropped the world's first Rebirth Nuke, and now I'm going to give you guys a tutorial. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First, I want to talk about what's different between the Rebirth Nuke versus the BR Nuke. So the elements do the same thing to you. The first element puts a crown on your head. The second element puts a shock stick on you. So every five to seven seconds, you hit fire your weapon. The third element disables your radar and vehicles. However, a minor change, all three elements put a crown above your head. The main difference between the Resurgence Nuke and the BR Nuke is the element timers, the overall timer as well. So you have 10 total minutes to do the entire contract, at least to arm the bomb. Once you arm the bomb, the timer stops and you just have the diffuser time. You have 10 minutes to get the bomb armed. Each element, there's three elements. Each element has its own individual 10 minute countdown. Once that element spawns, you have to reduce the 10 minute timer for each element, okay? All while there's a 10 minute total overall timer. You'll see once we get into the gameplay here. You have to find ways to reduce this timer for each element. You can reduce the timer by killing people, by buying stuff from the buy station, and by looting chests and boxes around the map. Now, you're gonna have to do a combination of all of these three things, but this makes it very, very challenging. It took us a while to get worlds first, but we finally figured out a very good strat. I'm going to break it down for you guys now. Okay, so you'll see the two yellow markers of the nuke contracts, and then you'll see all the other contracts on the map. Once you start a nuke contract, you cannot pick up any other contracts. So the best way to do this is to try to get as much money as possible before you pick up the nuke contract. You have until the very start of the second zone to pick up the nuke contract. Up until then, you can do as many contracts as you can to get your money up as high as possible before you start the nuke. So as you'll see, we're gonna knock out four, five, six contracts to get our money up so that we can use it at the buy station later in the game. This is very, 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 very essential. So we do a combination of a majority of the contracts. We do scavs, we do the new drone contract that they just added with this update. They're very quick. You just gotta shoot down the drones in the little area and you get an advanced UAV, which is helpful for fighting teams in the game and knowing how to rotate and stuff like that and the intelligence contracts because they give you money over time. So while you're getting your money up and doing contracts in the early game, I would recommend looting every chest. It doesn't matter. You don't really need to save them for when you start the new contract because there's going to be a restock later in the game. And these chests early game will help you increase your money and spend later in the game during fire sale. Okay, so you can see we have over $100,000. I just picked up the new contract with six seconds left in the first zone. So the second zone is about to start and we just picked up the new contract. You can pick up the new contract until the start of the second zone. So we had about six, five to six seconds to spare here. Once it hits the second zone, it disappears from the map. So that should give you plenty of time to get your money up as much as possible. So as you can see, there is a 10 minute timer here in which you have to acquire all the elements. And then there's another timer that is for each element. Now this number is getting reduced by various things, looting, killing, and buying. When you open chests, it reduces it. Killing reduces it. And then if you interrogate a downed enemy, it reduces it by about 10 to 14 seconds or so. And then if you assassinate an enemy, it reduces it by another 14 seconds so best case scenario you downed a player you interrogate them and then you assassinate them and this will greatly reduce your timer now you'll see we have so much money and you're wondering why we're not spending it there's a fire sale that's going to come in the third zone and you'll see us spend our money there it is super important almost essential that you do not die if you die it adds 30 seconds to the timer now if you're holding an element and you die it adds 45 seconds to the timer. So it is imperative that you do not die and you have a clean run. Even when you're fighting, when you're running around the map, you wanna just be open in as many chests as possible to reduce this timer. Anything you can do to reduce the timer, you have to be doing. You always wanna be doing something and trying to be as productive as possible to reduce this timer as quickly as possible because you only have a total of 10 minutes. So you'll see here, there's not many people buy us to fight and we're just waiting for the third zone fire sale. We're trying to be as productive as possible, but we're just gonna loot as many things as we can around us. Fire sale is about to start and we have a $180,000 to spend at the buy station. If you buy plates, it reduces the timer by one second. Plates cost $150 during the fire sale. So we're able to buy so many plates and reduce the timer by about 10 to 15 almost 20 minutes here. 
So you have to wait for the element to drop on the ground, you pick it up, and then a couple seconds for the timer to start. Another note, all the elements will drop on top of you. So wherever you're at around the map, if you're grouped up, the elements will drop right on top of you. Also, if you drop the element on the ground, if you die or you're not holding the element, the timer stops and you cannot reduce the timer anymore. The overall timer will keep ticking away, but the element timer is paused until you re-pick up the element. Just remember that. You can't drop the elements. So see here, all three of my teammates are spam buying plates at the buy station with their money to greatly reduce the timer. And I have the crown on my head watching the element timer once it gets close to zero i'll tell them to stop and pause so they don't waste any money and we'll wait for the next element to fall from the sky we have five minutes on the element timer uh that we need to get rid of we're basically out of money here and fire sale is over there's not many players left in the lobby to fight or kill either so we have to be very efficient with our time and make critical decisions right here uh you got to find any chest that you can around the map and try to find any more money that you can to spend at the buy stations get any last second kill that you can um all while prioritizing your life and not dying if you die at this point it adds 45 seconds to the timer and every second is crucial you cannot die here now i would recommend having one person carry all the elements so that only one person is affected by all three of the elements instead of three different people on your team all affected by one and that way you only have one crown on the map instead of three because each element puts a crown above your head. Now you'll see our reactor spawned in zone and there's only two teams left in the lobby and one player on each team. So without the bomb being armed, it is super important that you do not kill these people. You have to arm the bomb before you kill the last player in the lobby to get the nuke. If the last player in the lobby dies before you arm the bomb, you will not get the nuke. So it is imperative that you arm the bomb as fast as possible. Once you arm the bomb, you can either wait out the timer or kill the remaining people in the lobby. Both will count as a successful nuke. We just decided to wait out the timer. So that's it. That's the Rebirth Resurgence nuke. If you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them down below in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the youtube channel i would greatly freaking appreciate it i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and stay tuned for more content